Israel. The trial of Dennis Michael Rohan was a top security affair. Reporters and members of the public faced stringent checks and searches before being allowed into the small courtroom where the Australian, charged with setting fire to Al-Aqsa Mosque last month, stood trial. Fear of a reprisal assassination attempt resulted in methodic and thorough searches for weapons. Nobody escaped the security net. Arabs were naturally outraged by Rohan's act of arson. But the Israelis ensured that the trial was conducted with the necessary legal dignity and formality. The prisoner was shielded by a bulletproof glass booth and provided with an instantaneous translation of the proceedings. There were many witnesses. Although the plea was entered as not guilty, Rohan, seen here with his lawyer, one of the nation's leading advocates, later admitted starting the blaze but pleaded insanity. The 28-year-old accused claims to follow the teachings of an extreme Christian sect and says he was guided to fire the mosque after receiving a sign from God. Arab extremists, however, are placing the blame on the Israelis. Rohan started more than a fire. 